All right, the max fit workout we're going to do today with the kettlebells are a double arm swing, a single arm swing, and a single leg deadlift. Now, the goal here is that you want to use a heavier bell for a double arm swing and transition over to a lighter bell for the single arm. So maybe if you're doing a 50 pound double, you want to do 25 single, or whatever weight you have at home. Now, if you do have just one weight, say you only have like a 25 pounder, you can do your doubles with 25 pounders and go right into your singles as long as it's light enough for you to do your singles. The exercise today we're going to do are double swings, which you're going to do 30 reps. Then we're going to do single arm swings, 15 reps per side. Then we're going to do 10 single leg deadlifts, 10 reps per leg. We're going to demonstrate the whole thing for you, and then you can just utilize it at home and practice the routines. The goal is to get six sets in 35 minutes. So double arm swing first. And we're going for 30. So when you grab your double arm, make sure you grab a hold of the bell. Tilt your bell over. You're in a good athletic stance while you do it. Pull the bell as close to the cross as possible and get your body standing up straight. Squeeze your glutes, your abdominals, legs, quads, everything. And the ultimate goal is when you do your swing, stand up straight and pull the bell down and come back up. That teeter-totter effect is very important. So as you stand up straight, pull the bell back down and come back up for 30 reps. Keep that motion going, keep the flow moving. Try not to break or stop. If you have to stop, swing the bell back between your legs and then rest the two feet in front of you just like that. Now right into your single, grab your bell, find your spot. Same thing as a double, bringing a single down, using the one arm out, you can either clinch it, hold it tight, or keep it straight without staying stiff at all times. And grab your bell for 15 reps. Keep using that athletic stance. So you take notice I'm not squatting. After your 15 reps up, you go right to that transition and switch the other arm. But there's no squatting at all. Okay? It's an athletic stance, tilting, standing up straight, locking your glutes, hamstrings, quads, abs, the whole body together as one unit. That's 15 per side. Once that's done, you go right into your single leg deadlifts. Now use a lighter weight to do this. Put the bell right in front of your foot. Then you do 10s right, then 10 left. Make sure you complete one side first before you switch to the other side. If you fall off balance, just subtract that number and just start over again from wherever you, from wherever you left off. So straight leg deadlifts, go down, got a bell, come up, but try not to touch the ground. You don't want to put your foot down. Keep it off the ground if you can. Then go back down. Then start all over again for your count. Okay, and we're gonna do 10 reps. Now you can rest your leg in between once you put the bell down to regain your balance. And if you do happen to fall off balance, just put your foot down and just restart over. Like this, and down. This is real good for stability and mobility. Really targets those hamstrings and glutes. Once you're done, you do the other side. Make sure you put that bell in front of that foot. And the exact same thing again. Anytime you feel off balance, just put the bell back down and restart over.
So once you reach 10, you're going to start back over to your double arm swings for 30 again, single arm swings, 15 per side, and back at 10 straight leg deadlifts, single legs, 10 per side. Again, the goal is to get six sets. Take a break in between. Once you complete all three, it's okay to take a two minute break. Okay? You're going to come back at a full strength 100%. That's your first work.